not a crook. Welcome to Law Bite. The following is for entertainment purposes only. I'll never tell a lie. It is not legal advice, not even close. And now for the very finest in idiotic legal news and commentary. This is Law Bite. In the state where I live, Oregon, there aren't many carpool lanes, but in other states like Texas, there are. Now, the natural question that you may ask, of course, is what do carpool lanes have to do with the recent repeal of Roe v. Wade? Well, I'll tell you. A Texas woman named Brandy Batone was recently pulled over for ostensibly driving solo in the carpool lane, but when the cops tried to cite her, she said, oh, no, 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 I'm pregnant. There's another human in there. That makes two of us. Huh. Well, this just got interesting. Okay, it's true that a lot of states had trigger laws that pretty much outlawed abortion once Roe v. Wade was repealed, but there aren't any personhood laws. Yet. But that is exactly what Brandy Batone is saying. I.e., by your rationale, Texas, there's a person in there. Okay, well, personally, I can say that when my wife was pregnant with our first daughter, she suddenly needed bacon. A lot of it. And I swear to God, if you listen to her belly close enough, you could hear a little monster in there going, Give me the bacon! Okay, fine, not really. But suffice it to say, maybe it is a person, maybe it isn't. But if it is a person, does that mean, for example, that we get a tax credit for this yet-to-be-born kid? Does it mean that a deadbeat dad has to start paying child support on conception? And more importantly, will it be necessary to purchase another ticket for the buffet line? Now you may say that these questions are ridiculous, but hey, I didn't open this can of worms. The Supreme Court did. And ever since that fateful decision, conservative state legislators have been foaming at the mouth to enact new anti-abortion laws. But here's the thing. It's a different world now. Women are more powerful and stronger. And if there's one thing I've learned in life, it's that you don't f- with a self-assured, competent woman, especially a pregnant one. So all I can say is good luck, Texas. The women are coming for you, dude. Until next time, this is Law Bite. See you then.